Hello everyone, uh, today I'd like to talk to you about a recent project that I've been working on, which is this semi-naturalistic enclosure for my giant desert centipede. Um, now if you've been keeping up on my anting vlog series, you'll know that this has been something I've been looking for for quite a while, and so when my buddy in Tucson said that he caught me one, I was ecstatic. I ended up trading him some ants for it, uh, and so it sort of worked out. Um, but here he is. He's a four and a half inch, roughly, uh, individual. I say he, I don't entirely know which sex he is, but that's besides the point. Uh, and it is just a, a lovely specimen. Very, very great coloration, seemingly no health problems and everything. And so because of, you know, how much I want one of these being a dream pet and everything, I decided that I really wanted to go above and beyond with its enclosure, not just you know, because just a tub with dirt would have worked just fine, but but I decided to do something pretty special for it. And so the only picture of it that I got um, before I actually purchased it is this picture from the offer up listing in which I picked up a 20 gallon acrylic aquarium. Uh, and the reason why I decided to go acrylic is because ventilation is extremely important with this species. If they don't have good airflow, they can contract mycosis, which is a fungal infection. And acrylic allows me to drill ventilation holes very easily uh, and here is my sort of dry fit of the design uh, i'm using styrofoam here to sort of artificially create an elevation gradient and the you know strange contraption that you see in the middle there is going to be a water feature in which i have you know flowing water for the centipede to drink from and everything like that now here's my first sort of test of the water feature and the reason why i have it set up like this is hopefully so that no water will spread into the surrounding soil which means that I can keep the soil completely dry, which will keep the humidity down, which is good for preventing that fungal infection I was talking about. And it'll prevent the centipede from burrowing as much, which means that I'll know where it is under hides and whatnot. And here I have it in its first test fit in the actual setup or in the tank. And then here I have it after I sort of started getting things figured out. I put some, some soil in there and I started decorating the outside of, of what I wanted to look like a desert wash. Now, unfortunately, the design didn't really work out to look like a wash. Um, anytime I tried putting anything inside that that channel where the water was running, it would just cause problems, water overflowing and, and the pump getting blocked up and everything. And so I decided to just say, screw it. I'll just make it look semi-naturalistic. It doesn't look that bad. Here I was playing around with some designs with sticks um, and you know, you'll see how it ended up in the end. But um, the next step was to drill some ventilation holes. So here I marked out... Um, with some masking tape where to drill some holes with a hole saw and ended up getting all of those cut out. And the reason why these are, you know, very large ventilation holes, as you can see here is because I, instead of, I decided to save myself some, some headache. And instead of going with just drilling a crap ton of tiny, tiny little holes, I found these nice plugs on Amazon, which fit in the holes very nicely and they are full of holes. And so this is a great way to sort of, save myself some time and headache from drilling a bunch of holes. I can just drill six very large holes and fill them with this plug. And it worked out excellently. So you see there's sort of the finished product and here is moving in the centipede. Now the enclosure isn't entirely done. I'm going to end up adding some, some small live plants, um, probably mostly succulents and, and just desert plants that don't need very much moisture. And um, I'd like to get a Choya skeleton for so some decoration and whatnot. But functionally, the setup is pretty much complete. And so it was ready to move the centipede in. And of course, even a half complete setup is better than this little temporary cup I have him in. Although he didn't entirely seem to think so. He wasn't too keen on exploring right away. But I ended up encouraging him to, to explore. And basically, as soon as he stepped out, he started to freak out, run around, explore the area, just really get a feel of his environment. I was a little bit worried about how panicked he seemed, but, um, you know, eventually he, he did calm down, but you can see here with this 20 gallon tank, he's got tons of space to room to, uh, roam around and explore and everything. And even though he'll get to be about twice that size, hopefully they can reach up to, um, around eight to 10 inches. So he's about four and a half right now. So around twice this size. And even at that large size, he'll still have plenty of space to to walk around and and not fe not be cramped not that that's super important but it's nice you know for them to to be able to have that amount of space now you see here i did place in this large flat rock as a hide for him he did take a while to find it but now at this point in time he uses that pretty much all the time because like i said um 
the soil is kept pretty dry. Um, there was some leaks with the water feature that I ended up having to deal with. So currently the water or the, the soil is a little bit wet, but once it dries out, it will pretty much stay dry. So that'll hopefully prevent it from burrowing and reaching that styrofoam that's under there, you know, um, creating the elevation gradient and differences in the tank. Um, but so far I haven't had any issues with him trying to burrow. Um, and, and he's been doing really well in the enclosure. As you can see here, he's just taking some time exploring. Um, I haven't really seen him like drinking from the, the water feature or anything just yet, but considering he's not dead and centipedes will desiccate from lack of water in, in roughly 12 hours. So, um, he must be drinking it. See there, he did find the hide and, and sort of came out from there. Uh, and here he is eating his first meal in the enclosure, uh, which is a superworm. That's primarily what I feed him. It's a really good food source for centipedes, as far as I'm aware, at least. Um, and so, yeah, as he chows down here, I'll just say that that's about all I have for you. Um, mean a lot to me if you checked out arthropodantics.com, where your purchases there help fund these projects and these videos. And yeah, thank you very much for watching.